Dating apps to me have turned into a social media platform and or a mobile game. Due to this, people use these apps a lot when they are bored or need a boost of self-esteem or entertainment. They aren't in a mindset to find love or make a genuine connection because the initial connection isn't there. When someone does go on the app to actually date, if one thing goes wrong or gets like hard, which is normal and standard in real relationships, either one or both parties bails and goes back to the app for instant gratification and easy conversation. Oh my God. Yeah. Or in a different case, maybe the person you have been going on dates with is great, but since you have so many other people at your fingertips, you want something quote unquote better or have FOMO that there is maybe someone you are missing out on if you are settling for the person you're talking to. It's like that abundance mindset. All of these apps are out to make money, not to find you love match. If they were truly into trying to help connect people, everyone would be deleting the apps and there would be no need to have the consumer use their product. Therefore, they would lose money. So how these apps are set up is that they will give you like 10 likes a day before you have to pay. Doing this makes the person extra choosy and will probably pass up on the super nice, amazing guy for like the supermodel boy because he has hot picks. I've also seen recently that now you can see your stats on how many people have liked you, super liked you, etc. And it's displayed like an IG oh. following count. I did not know that it showed your super likes and I, likes. I had no idea that was a thing. <gasps> That's fucked up. Oh, that is harmful. Hey.